changing the volume of sound. Microphone. A microphone is a device that converts sound waves into an electrical signal. It allows you to capture audio and transmit it into various devices, such as computers, amplifiers, or recording equipment. The another instrument is a loudspeaker. A loudspeaker, commonly referred to as a speaker or speaker driver, is an electroacoustic transducer that converts an electrical audio signal into a corresponding sound. Ear Defender Ear protectors, also known as ear plugs, ear defenders, and canal caps, protect your ears from loud noise by reducing the level of sound reaching your ears. Amplifier An amplifier is an electronic device that increases the voltage, current, or power of a signal. Amplifiers are used in wireless communications and broadcasting, and in audio equipment of all kinds. Muffler A typical sound absorbing material used in a muffler is a thick layer of fine fibers. The fibers are caused to vibrate by the sound waves, thus converting the sound energy to heat. Silencer A silencer is a device for reducing the noise emitted by the exhaust of an internal combustion engine, especially a noise deadening device forming part of the exhaust system of an automobile. How can we make the sound louder? In the picture, the singer sings into a microphone. The microphone is connected to an amplifier. An amplifier is a device that makes the sound louder. Amplify means increasing. So amplifier makes the sound more or louder. The amplifier is then connected to the loudspeaker. The sound comes out through the loudspeaker. The microphone, the amplifier, and the loudspeaker make a sound system together. This makes the sound produced by the singer louder. We use sound systems to make lots of things louder. For example, CD players and televisions. Now look at a simpler way of making a sound louder. Listen to a sound through a tube. You will need a long cardboard tube, which is at least 50 centimeters long. A source of sound such as a small alarm clock. Now look at the pictures and copy what the children in the pictures are doing. Questions. Identify the control variable in the given picture. Explain why it is the control variable. In the picture, there is a stopwatch that is connected with a cardboard tube to a softwood. And another cardboard tube is also attached to the softwood and kept near the girl's ears. Now identify the control variable. Here the control variable is the source of sound. The stopwatch is the source of sound. That is why it is the control variable. Because this stopwatch is the same object which is used to create sound. Now identify the independent variable. Here the independent variable is the cardboard. Because we can change the material of the cardboard. Instead of the cardboard or cardboard tube, you could use any other material. Maybe a paper. You can roll an A4 sheet and use it. So different types of materials can be used. That is why it's known as independent variable. Identify the dependent variable. The dependent variable here is the loudness of the sound. Because the loudness of the sound depends on the material used. 
Here, since the cardboard tube is used, there is a certain loudness to the sound. However, if the material is changed, the loudness could increase or decrease depending on it. Making sounds quieter. Sometimes there is far too much noise. For example, lots of traffic, people sounding horns, loud sounds from construction work and road repairs. Sometimes people near you play music at a very high volume. These are examples of noise pollution. Noise pollution has a negative effect on our environment. Now what can we do about this? The best solution is to reduce the volume of noise. But if we can muffle the sounds that we don't want to hear, this means that we can make the sounds quieter. Let's learn about the ways to muffle sound. Loud sounds can hurt our ears. Some people work in very noisy places, such as the construction areas. They need to protect their ears. They wear ear defenders. Ear defenders muffle sound. Look at the picture carefully and answer what is the source of sound in this picture. In buildings, we use carpets and curtains to muffle noise. Sometimes the spaces between the walls are filled with materials that don't let noise through. Look at the photograph at the beginning of this topic. Workers are covering the walls with material to muffle the sound. That's how the room becomes noise proof or sound proof. We fit silencers into cars, trucks and motorbikes to muffle the sounds of their engines.